Hey guys, 460 Style here today. Today I got something pretty cool. I found the other day. I made a video uh, a few days ago about this uh, firearm. It's not a firearm. It's a pellet gun. And uh, I'm down here in a discreet location, which doesn't matter. It's a pellet gun, so it's not considered a firearm, so you can shoot it pretty much anywhere. So I'm at a power line, so... So I got a target, two targets, one at seven yards and one at 15 yards, okay? So if you watch my other video, most recently, uh, I picked up a, sorry guys, I gotta watch out for the case, picked up a Sig Sauer ASP Super Target 177. Um, beautiful little firearm. I uh, got nice sights on it. As you can tell, it needs some high vis paint or something on the front ramp, but for now, actually, it's pretty accurate. My roommate, Lynn, as you know, that's in my videos, uh, been shooting some varmints with it, so it's, it actually works. Uh, this is more for a target versus varmint, but if you're close enough, so I'm going to try to see if it goes through uh, these bottles with water in it um like i said one at 70 yards and one at 15. the closer one will work i think because i've tried this already with the um the competition grade grade target pellets so this did not go through a bottle because they're flat they, get, they got a flat face they're made for targets but i got something else here i'll show you in a minute um I'll show you guys right here. I don't know what this will focus in, but see how I'll put it towards the sun. See how it's flat? So it's not gonna penetrate as good as a pointy one. So I went online and I bought these Hornets H and N. They're max piercing power, they call it. Um they these are 9.57 grains or 0.62 grains, depends if you're um what riding you're from metric or not uh, these say these, these are max penetration so that's with the brass insert and I'll show you them right here again this is 177 some 22 caliber so that little bugger right there boys pretty sharp I mean pretty pretty sharp and it's brass so I'm assuming it's gonna penetrate the seven yard one, 15 yards, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, this is the first time. Um, not the first time I've shot this. Um, it's pretty accurate. So hopefully one shot each. So how this works, there's no, this is a, a piston style uh, pellet gun. You gotta pull the hammer here and lift it by the sight. Well, there's actually a grip, there's kind of like a grip here, this flat spot. I'm gonna show you this way so you can see in the sun. This flat spot right here, you just grab it right there and you pull this back and it should lift up just like that. And it's a piston driven, pretty cool. And you put your pellets right on top right there. It's a one shotter. Yeah, it takes some time. All right, let's try it out. I got my Reason why I know there's 715 yards, I've got my Vortex little rangefinder here. I'm not trying to sell a product, that's what I have. All right, uh, I'm not trying to sell SIG, because this is what I have. Insert it here. I don't know if, if you're allowed to show that for a pellet gun. I know the YouTube's getting a little weird now. So you just kind of get your hand out of the way, you're ready to roll, there's no safety, so very light trigger, very nice trigger. And, uh, let me get myself in position and try the 70 yard shot. Let's see if I can get you guys here. Okay, here we go. Um, all right, 70 yards, you see me? All right, let's go. All right, 70 yards. Oh, did I flinch? <laughs> I flinched. I don't know why I flinched. All right, let's try another one. Shot to the left. Just grazed it. All right, let's try, let's try this again. Uh, I'm gonna get it this time though. 
I'll get it this time, guys. All right, here we go. Oh, saw some water. So let's run down and grab that. <laughs> That's funny. I shot it right here. Oh, show you guys what. Boop, boop. <laughs> so it, it penetrated. And the funny thing, let me get this out of the way so I don't get wet. And if you listen, I caught the projectile. And it looks like it's not mushroomed or nothing. It's, exa oh. it's exactly the same. So, again, seven yards away, that's 20 feet. Um, you're not going to get any raccoons with this or anything bigger than, than a squirrel or a big squirrel. Um, so, um, 15 yards will it penetrate. It didn't go through. It didn't go through. Um, all right, let's try it. Let's try the 15 yards. Will it go through? It didn't go through both sides on this one. But water is pretty dense. That's why we, that's why we do a lot of mediums with water, because water's pretty strong. All right, let's try this again. Doing a fun little video here, guys. Nothing fancy. Uh, it's not uh, technical science here. Um, saw this at a pawn store, so for the right money, and it's very good looking. Nice, nice firearm. Pretty heavy. Uh, the trigger pull is adjustable on here, and the distance and everything—it's pretty, pretty well thought of as far as the trigger area. You can move the trigger forward, you can move it up and down, I think, and you can do the setting as far as the pound pull. So, a lot of option on this little firearm. There's no rail on it. I wish it'd be a little rail pull, a little red dot or something, but pretty nice. All right, let's try further distance. Is this going to go through? My opinion, I don't think so. But with this pellet, the way it has that brass insert, I think it just needs enough energy to penetrate it. So if this goes through the first layer, like it did the first one, at six yards, um, you should be able to get these little varmints that go after your bird feeders. So uh, and we all know what that is, right? So, all right, let's try this thing out. Let's see if I can get in this side. You can see me better. Okay, yeah, here we go. Let's see if I can even get it. Oh, <laughs> I think I saw some bubbles. I think I saw some bubbles, guys. All right, <laughs> I just grazed it, but I grazed it enough where it went through. So I'm gonna put it back there and see if I can get it more in the center. Cause, oh, I don't wanna squeeze so hard to get it all over my firearm here. I grazed it where, you can see where it grazed. I had it just enough angle to get, the, project, the projectile is inside. So I think I'm going to try to try that again. Let's try that again. I think that's still 15 yards. Let me try my range finder here again. All right, it's at 13.4 yards. Close enough. Wow, that penetrated. So, I'm thinking you should be able to still get your little varmint at 13 yards. Oh, these are so small. All right, I'm gonna try one more time here, folks. This is just a fun video to show you guys that you can teach the beginners how to aim 
these young folks how to, you know, uh, be learn how the mechanics of triggers, the sight picture, and just learn how to run a firearm. Uh, these are like beginning stages for young adults or young youths. Uh, not young adults, but youths. Um, it's a good training method too. Uh, picture control, your sight picture I mean, and your trigger control. And and uh, it's a good little training tool. So, And it's not very loud, so you can do it in your backyard. Neighbors won't call the cops because it's just a little, you know, just a little air coming out. So super quiet you guys see me here yeah you can this side yeah let's, let's go on this side all right ready oh shot low that was my fault one more time folks if i miss well so be it it did go through so all right am i in the way here all right, here we go again. Oh, saw some more bubbles, but maybe it's the pressure from the other side. So let's go check it out. Oh, this is so fun. This is so fun. Fun and funny at the same time. So, let me move my stuff here so it don't get soaked here. All right, that's where I hit. It didn't go through. It's leaking because of the other side. So, it almost went through. You see how it's white? Right there. Almost went through. It's like so borderline. Yeah, almost went through. All right, guys. I'll pick that up. I don't litter. So, all right, guys. There's the uh, Sig Sauer 177 Super ASP target. Um, nice looking firearm. I mean, although it's not as strong as some, but it's still a good little target. It's very accurate. I mean, I I aim dead center and I got it. So even at 13 yards, that's what times three. That's 36 feet, 40 feet. So. I don't, I don't know how far before the drop on these. Uh, again, I just got this thing not too long ago. And by, man, it, it shoots so nice. Nice trigger. It's heavy, but it has a nice balance to it. Front and back. Nice wood grip. Um, good looking firearm or, or pellet gun. I like it, guys. Um, and and it's, it's a good practice target pistol, which is what it is. But for a little varmint, it's up to about, you know, 5, 8, 10 yards. Um, although, if you don't get them, it'll scare them. Do that a few times. But uh, these little pellets, boy, I'm telling you, 5 yards away, uh, I, don't, I don't think they have a chance. Um, and it's very quiet, as I mentioned earlier. And All right, guys. Fun little video on this beautiful southern main day. Blue skies in October. It's an amazing day. Two days in a row. And uh, we're going to enjoy it as much as we can. Uh, maybe I'll throw a few rounds and aim a little further. So I want to see how far I can aim with this thing before it drops. But that might be another video too. So, All right, guys. Keep it safe. Keep it real. Bring everybody to range. What's your style? 460 style.